And we're ready to go. And they go into turn number one. Now remember, Judd Stupik is on the same bike that he won the last race on, so he's got about a 400cc displacement disadvantage over the rest of the field as they head around turn number one. And already they're swapping positions once again on about four or five riders going for that battle in the lead. Jeff Schultz, Kenneth Furlong, and, and Jeff Schultz to the office, please, the sanction office, please. Down that back straightaway they go. For the first time and already, we got a big lead being built up by one of the riders out there, and we're going to find out who that is. Chances are it's probably 965. Michael Wolf will check it out. Michael Wolf, he's your points leader and he's out in front. Bike number 922 running in second spot. That is John Nelson, a rider who was currently fifth in the point standings. He's going to move up quite a bit now in second spot. In third is bike number 803. And that is Chris Mallory. And he's up where he belongs, up there in about th in the top three. And then running in fourth position, bike number 885. And that is John Ralstead. And Ralstead, of course, uh, currently running at about fifth or sixth in the point standings. And uh, he's right up there where he belongs. So we've got a great race going between all your points leaders. Race of the day, 450 Super Street. Okay, Wolf still leading, and he's on that uh, Yamaha. Then comes bike number 885, running a second spot. That is John Ralstead on the Honda, running in second spot. In third, bike number 803. Chris Mallory running in uh, third spot. Mallory is on the Suzuki. And running in fourth spot, 984. That is Tom Cobb on the Suzuki, and running at fifth spot, 258. That was uh, D.A. Goldenberg, also on a Suzuki, and running at sixth spot, 922, John Nelson, also on a Suzuki. So you've got Yamaha and Honda doing battle out there, number one and number two, and those riders are followed by four Suzukis. Right after the Yamaha and Honda, we've got four Suzukis barreling down on them in those third through sixth positions as they go down the back straightaway. the racetrack and came back on again.
Okay, no change in the positions. Except uh, maybe up in seventh spot now goes bike number 442. And that is uh, Terry French on a Suzuki, also on a Suzuki. So you've got five Suzukis running back there amongst themselves. You've got the Yamaha and the Honda running out there in front. And still out in front, Wolf, your points leader, running in second, 883. Or 885. That is John Ralston on the Honda doing a great job running up there in second spot. Bike number 864, Patrick Riddle on the Kawasaki having some problems. He pulls it into the pits. out here and you know where your crew is if we could can we have your vehicle parked behind the paddock area so it's not kind of in the way we need this pit area uh, cleared away uh, so you don't uh, block emergency vehicles so if you're a spectator out here please if you could park your uh, vehicle in the back here in the dirt uh, in the paddock area okay coming out of turn number nine with a big big lead now on the hunt on the Yamaha it is still Michael Wolf way out in front now running in second spot it's now and run jumping up in the second spot 984 tom cop on the suzuki so a big uh, swapping of positions now bike number 984 moves up in the second position Tom Kopp on the Suzuki, jump from fourth to second spot and drops the Honda back down into third. We've got bike number 891 now going coming in in eighth position. That is Alex Randall on a Suzuki. He's up into eighth. sound coming down here, the 836 Rod Hurwicz. As he heads into turn number one with about five or six riders just ahead of him, that's a great race in that uh, duel. Rate, race number four coming up to the pre-grid. Super Street up to the pre-grid, please. We need 450 Super Street up to the pre-grid. We're going to run that race, then the Battle of the Twins and 600 singles, and then we'll break for lunch. Michael Wolf starting to take command of the uh, this race as he has all season long. As we mentioned, he will probably move up in the ranks. And he will now start racing regular racing. But uh, what's impressive right now is bike number 984 running there in second spot. Tom Kopp on this big Suzuki. As your leader's now starting to come up and lap the slower traffic. Coming down to the, uh, in fact, look at this. We're going to have a change for the lead here. Cop's going to try and take over the lead on the Suzuki. He takes a peek at the inside, and he doesn't quite do it. Tom Cop, definitely the fastest rider out there right now, and he's got the lead over Michael Wolf. So Wolf out in front, Cop in second spot as they go around turn number two.
There they go, lapping uh, slower traffic, and he, for these guys are doing pretty well, considering they're novices. And Cop on the Suzuki, trying to make the pass, he doesn't quite do it. Wolf still holding on to it. Wolf on the Yamaha, Cop on the Suzuki. Oh boy, they're just going through traffic like uh, Sherman through Georgia in the Civil War here. A terrific job by these novices, the top racing novices as they go around the slower traffic. Oh, we got a rider down in the exit of turn number three. Wolf and Cop now down that back straightaway. Wolf on the Omaha, Cop on the Suzuki, and now look at Cop go. He's getting in the slipstream. He's going to try and get on by here. There goes Cobb, he pulls alongside and whisks by him on the outside and goes flailing on by him as he goes around some lap traffic. Cobb now has the lead. Cobb coming out of turn number nine, he will take over the lead on the Suzuki. He just uh, marched right on through this field and now has taken command on the white flag lap, two and a, two and a half miles to go. Cobb now in the lead, Wolf on the Omaha, pretty much defenseless as they hit around turn number one. Oh, Cobb's not giving up. He's coming back. Okay, it's Cobb leading, but now it's Wolf's turn to uh, try and catch up, and that's exactly what he's doing as they head up the hill. Wolf outbreaks Cobb. We've got the Suzuki in front, Yamaha in second as they head up the hill for the last time. Look at this now, Wolf not giving up, he's coming back, and he's going to try to take the lead on the inside, and he takes it away! Has a lap to go, and that's why Wolf is the points leader for making moves like that, a very daring and novice move here by these rookie riders, and now... Wolf has the lead on the Yamaha, but Kopsk looks like he's going to come back on the straightaway on that more powerful Suzuki as they go down the back straightaway. Then they go into turn number eight. This is where Cobb got him last time, and this time he's not quite doing it. He's flung by him last time on the last lap, but he can't do it this time. Wolf is holding him off, and they come out of turn number nine. This is the drag race to the flag. Oh, Wolf goes way wide. He's going to go off the track. Wolf went off the track, and it's going to be Cobb's race. Cobb's going to take it on the Suzuki. Wolf made the error coming out of turn number nine, went too wide, and went a little too hot, and went off the racetrack, and he'll get second position. It looks like 8.03 finished third. 8.85 finished third. John Rolstad on a Honda. Fine ride by John Rolstad in third. And possibly... Eight zero three unofficially got him down for fourth on the Suzuki Chris Mallory. Oh, uh, unusual uh, ending to this novice race. It's not like Wolf to make a rookie mistake because he's uh, one of the better rookies, and he did. He went off the track in turn number nine and allowed Cop to come on for the win. And remember, this is Cop's very first race ever because uh, he had zero points coming in, but he's going to be somebody to reckon with here in the next couple of races. Last call, 450 Super Street. Let's get those riders up to the free grid, 450 Super Street. California casual set up down here. You guys set up down here.